Welcome to Dose of Reality. This is the next video in my Mandela Effect shortlist. When I say shortlist, what does that mean? Uh, typically these videos, I like to keep them short. This one will be a short one, probably 10 minutes or so. Um, some of them are 30, 40 minutes, but what I like to do on my shortlist is just address one Mandela Effect, and get right into presenting it, presenting the residue, give you my take and my theories on it, etc. Okay, this one, it's not a new change, but again, it's another change that I know a lot of people that follow my channel aren't aware of. Not all of them have been looking at Mandela Effect for a few years now. This change, I feel, is important. It signifies a message. A lot of people, uh, do. we do have different takes on if this is all random, if there are messages in it. I do believe that there are a lot of messages in the Mandela Effect, and I do believe that something this big should not go unnoticed. Another reason I brought this up, <clears throat> there's this ridiculous misconception out there that, of course, you know, we're all just misremembering or the Mandela effect is just product and logo and brand changes. Well, this has nothing to do with the product, logo or brand change. It has to do with one of the most famous pieces of art in the world. People also say, well, it's just American, Brian. No, it's not just American. Do I cover uh, pr uh predominantly uh, American changes? Of course I do. This is where I live. If I asked you your 10 favorite channels in, you know, Russian or, or, or whatever for a certain topic, you, you'd probably freeze up. You wouldn't even know how to answer me. Exactly. So, no, do I sit here and cover Mandela effects in Russia and China or in the Quran? No, I don't because I'm not familiar with those things at all, but there are people that do. And for the people that say there aren't changes in other countries, are you insane? We have tons of people in the UK, in South America, Asia, there's people everywhere talking about these changes. You just refuse to go look at those. Why? Well, you don't speak those languages, maybe. So then you're going to play that card on us, right? <laughs> well, this one has nothing to do with America, American media, a product change, a logo change, a copyright. These are the ridiculous excuses we hear, yet these people never come back with any proof of their claims. <clears throat> We'll just get right into it. Now, with the Mandela Effect, lots of things have changed. Now, I've spoken recently and, you know, often over the last couple of years about a few certain changes. Uh, Matthew 1820 would be one of them. Uh, when two or more are gathered in my name is now when two or three are gathered in my name. Well, that's a strong message, especially right before the current situation the world's in. Uh, now, now it's not just two or more. You're two, only three, and limited to that. <clears throat> the wolf shall dwell with the lamb rather than the lion. Songs like Jewel, Who Will Save Your Soul. You guys all know it. Go listen to it. Now it says, Who Will Save Your Souls. So are these messages? Of course they are. I believe they are. Now, people have different theories on the Mandela Effect, and I can't tell you who's right. I have my own theories. I can't tell you that I'm right. It would be crazy if I did that. Um, so don't let theories of the Mandela Effect that you may agree or disagree with scare you away from the topic, because ultimately... That's just a straw man, right? So if I tell you it's the creator doing this and you don't believe in a creator, well, then you're just going to throw this away. If I tell you it's a simulation and you don't believe it can be a simulation, you're just going to throw it away. If somebody tells you it's Satan and you don't believe it's Satan or you don't believe it's a parallel you know, or any of these other theories, you're just going to throw the baby away with the bathwater, right? The important thing is, is this happening? Is this happening? Are things supernaturally changing? Indeed, they are. I mean, I've shown countless examples. Now, are there bad Mandela Effect videos and bad channels out there? Of course there are, just like there are with any topic. <clears throat> but to the deniers out there that say nothing is happening and we are idiots and this is all just companies can change logos and all this, go through my shortlist then. Find the products and companies that I've called Mandela Effects and you show me how it's just a documented logo change or a business transaction made between two companies. You can't. Because you're full of it. You never come back with that, and you cower in the corner, and you just repeat these things ad verbatim, and you never come back and try and prove us wrong on these claims. Okay. The next one, as you can see right here, you might recognize a portion of this image. I didn't show you the whole thing yet for a reason. It's called The Creation of Adam. It's a painting on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Nothing to do with America or American media. Now, what's the problem? Well, I'm going to show you the whole image in a second. But this picture used to depict God 
reaching down to Adam with his finger pointed up. Adam laid back like this. With his, I'm sorry, God with his finger pointed down at an angle, almost like a 45, right? I know my green screen's screwing it up, you know, like this. And Adam laying back up like this, okay? And this whole picture was sort of like a depiction of God reaching down to man because he loves his creation. And I would have to say that through my journey, uh, through many different topics, not just the Mandela effect, one of the things that you see is, is the mainstream media and science and space agencies and all these people try to explain away anything supernatural, try to explain away anything to do with the creator and try to demonize it and also try to make men think that they are higher than gods. Okay. Would you agree with that statement? Think, I think a lot of you would. Now, I'm going to show you what the image actually looks like now in this current reality and have a look. That's the creation of Adam now. God is actually lower than Adam. Adam, is no, he's got like a limp wrist now, whereas his wrist was not like that, and he was pointing up at God. God was higher up with his arm coming down at more of like a 45-degree angle, like from here down pointed at Adam's fingertips, okay? Like Adam aspiring to be God, right? Now, <laughs> or aspiring to please God, I should say. Now they try to make it as if man is above God. Now we've watched this incrementally come down. He was higher, of course, like I just said. And then he came down a bit and he was just about a tad higher than Adam instead of a lot higher. And now you can see Adam's wrist is actually higher than God's. Oh, I should put my cursor over here so you can see Adam's wrist is actually a tad bit higher than God's. At best, you would say they're even, but it's even. It's not even really even. Adam's a little bit higher now. God's was at a 45-degree angle, practically. I'm not going to say it was exactly 45, but he was slanted down like this with his fingertip. He was not coming across on like an even playing field to Adam. This is God. It was higher up. Again, debunkers and deniers say that, well, it's only American. It's only media. It's only logo change. No, and, and this is nothing that is re, uh, a translation issue, they'll say, or books being republished, right? This is painted on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, and it's changed. You guys are, I shouldn't say you all, but most of you are all familiar with the image. Look at it now. Don't you think there's a message to be had in there? And people want to just say there's nothing going on. Nothing going on, Brian. Nothing's changing. How many changes are you going to deny? Or how many times are you going to parrot the idea that it's just insignificant things like movies and music? It's not. That's what people want to do when they build up their ridiculous arguments. Say it's just that and go no further. You think the Mandela effect is like getting a positive spotlight by the media because you see it in articles and things. No, you see it in articles so they can tell you what the top 40 Mandela effects are and they'll tell you about the Monopoly Man and Curious George. They'll never get into the famous, all these huge famous works of art, changes in the Bible, geography changes, huge historical events inserted into our timeline, anatomy changes. They'll never discuss any of that because they want you to think, you know, if, if you do but, but resonate with a lot of them, they want to draw you in, but then they want you to think that it's things that you can easily dismiss that could be a media psyop, that could be things republished and rebranded. And I'm here to tell you that things like the Monopoly Man, Curious George, those are legitimate Mandela effects. But those aren't the ones that are going to shake people's world. Like the Berenstein Bears, changing to Berenstein. That's the first one I saw, like many people, and I knew it was wrong, but it didn't shake my world. Until the geography ones hit me a couple months later or whatever it was. So the creation of Adam has changed. Um, obviously, you could interpret this message to be completely different now, where God is not above man reaching down to and giving him his divine spark, right? But hey, what am I to say? I mean, you know, it's all just random, people will say, and none of it matters. Nothing's changing, you know? I actually had somebody tell me, somebody that's a staunch denier of this, tell me, well, it's on the ceiling, so it depends on what perspective you're looking at it and where you're standing when you look at no, dude, God was at like a 45 degree angle with his arm coming down to Adam. The entire message of the picture changed. So, of course, I have some residue prepared for you guys. Residue, basically, if you aren't familiar, when something official changes all the way back in the past because of the Mandela effect, like this actual painting on the Sistine Chapel, parodies of it will remain. So if a child or anybody uh, does a drawing 
of it. If somebody has it on a maybe on a t-shirt, uh, if people dress up like things for Halloween, all these things remain. It's usually just the original item that will change. So the Sistine Chapel changed. Any official prints of this will look like this, but people that do parodies and spoofs of this, well, those are done on memory. Let's get into them. Look at it reaching down. Not on an even keel. There's other changes within this as well, but they're smaller, and I'm not gonna focus on those today. This is how everybody remembers the creation of Adam. God pointing down, not across. They'll say it's only American. They'll say it doesn't matter, Brian. You just have a bad memory. I'll say they're the most unobservant group of people I've ever met, these Mandela deniers. How many changes will you deny? You look more foolish than the science guy Bill Nye. It's a globe mentality. Deny, deny, deny the blatantly obvious reality. I thought we were told, I thought we learned through this journey to go by what we observe, what we experience, not what mainstream tells us, not what goes against our reality. You know you've never heard of Black Tom until Mandela people told you. You know the creation of Adam has changed. I covered King Tut's headdress yesterday. How is that just an American thing? The people that say there are no changes and they're just logos and brands, they've never once come back to me with any documented proof to say, hey look, this is the original. I didn't mean to put that in there. They'll say, they never come back and said, hey, look, this is when the change happened. Look at this beautiful work of art. And that's how it was with God reaching down, down. Now, this is an old change. Again, I did not find this change. I've known about this for years. Just trying to present it and get it out there for everybody that doesn't know in an easy to explain way. It's not only American. These are ignorant statements from people that don't do any research. Do you have to agree with all the changes? No. But do some of them affect you for sure? Then this is a real thing. And there's not a person out there that can honestly say none of them affect them. Not honestly. I've proven them time and time again to be affected. All the big name truthers, especially the ones that deny this, we keep pointing them out. They have the same memories as us. I'm not making fun of anybody saying they're Mandela affected. Some people get insulted. I'm literally saying you guys are going through the same thing that we are and have the same memory that we do. We all live in this reality together. It's malleable. We're all experiencing the changes. Most people are just too scared to talk about it. Scared to lose their following. Scared to shake up their current paradigm. Is that any different than the old paradigms that you dropped? You sound like the people that mocked and ridiculed you not too many years ago, don't you? This is how it was depicted. And I'd like this one to be the last image. Because now Satan is in place of God in the image. Is that what's happening with some of these changes? That's up to you to decide. Those are just theories. Again, who knows what's really causing this. But is it happening? You'd be a fool to say that this isn't happening. A complete fool. Again, if you disagree with me on some changes, am I coming at you? Am I calling you a fool? No. If you say this isn't happening, though, and we just have bad memory and things are copyright issues. No, you are the fool. The Mandela Effect deniers. Some of the most asleep people I have ever met. Check out my Mandela Effect shortlist. I'll leave it linked below this video. That's where there's about 90 videos at this point so far. Short videos like this. 
each addressing one change. I don't lay claim to saying I discovered any of these. I've probably discovered, you know, maybe a dozen or so that you'll see on my channel. I'm not out in a race to discover new effects. Uh, I'm here to make it resonate with everybody, make people see that this is going on, discuss the biggest, most solidified changes in my opinion. Do people make mistakes? Yes, people make mistakes with all topics. Does that mean the topic is not legit? No. Use your discernment. I encourage you to check out other Mandela Effect channels, especially if you're in other countries. There are people that cover it. Don't keep coming with that same mumbo jumbo, how it's only in America. Again, is the Sistine Chapel in America? No, it's not. And let's have another look at the original. God lower than Adam now. Yet people will say we are just morons and nothing is going on. Hmm. Are these the people you'll continue to follow? The stuck in the physical type people? This realm that we live in has supernatural aspects to it that for some reason, these people that call themselves truthers, such a terrible word, they want to ignore all that and mock and ridicule us when they're just years and years behind. And again, this isn't about a race, but you would think that these quote-unquote truthers, especially ones that claim to be on a spiritual journey or they're getting closer to God because of some of the topics they've looked into, and then they come and they just poo-poo this without doing any research, I will continue to say, you guys are fools, ignorant, and you're deceiving and misleading your followers. We'll continue to point out how affected you are. Be triggered. We're coming.